I've come up with a list of 10 cable management myths, and I'm going to dispel them all. The first myth is something I see in my video comments all the time. Why not just use zip ties? I won't go on a rant about why I hate zip ties, but I will say that thinking you can go simple and minimal with only zip ties is not the answer. This is especially true if you make a lot of changes to your desk setup. If you're really set on how you want your whole setup to look and function, there are some relatively cheap and minimal looking products that can help you out. But I know most of you are swapping out products or taking electronics with you to other locations. This is where some kind of tray, box, or larger product to dump your cables into makes much more sense. You may have a ton of cables hanging off the back of your desk, but it doesn't mean that you need a ton of openings in your cable management to route them. In reality, you want the best balance of the cable pass through holes and in the right positions. When you have too many openings, it starts to look messy. Your cables or whatever is behind them will start to be seen. Some metal trays go way overboard offering too many openings when just a few pass-throughs is plenty. I'd look for products with spaced out holes like the Daily Sleek trays or the Human Scale Neat Tech tray that has openings at the end. When it comes to cable management, less is not necessarily more. When you see the large boxes and trays, it's natural to think this is gonna ruin my minimalist look. And while this may be true with some products, pairing the right cable product to match the look and size of your desk can actually enhance the looks. First of all, it's always gonna look better having your cables managed, so right away a box is giving you a step up. Second, the higher end cable products will come with the same kind of powder coated steel as your standing desk legs. Now if you have a wood or laminate sitting desk, the box will be less visible anyway. Finally, a larger box can help hide even more cables and products, like a Wi-Fi splitter, for example, making your whole desk setup look even more sleek. I keep talking about how cable management will improve the looks of your setup, but it's not all about aesthetics. Sloppy cables can be a danger to the electronics on your desk. With an adjustable height desk, the moving parts can cause cables to get caught on the foot of your desk or other items close by, causing them to fall. Good cable management will clean up these excess cables, removing the danger. It's also very important to remove the leverage off of cables. This is particularly important when it comes to expensive audio equipment, making sure your speaker cables are not being pulled tight. It would be natural to think that getting several white products, they're all going to match each other, right? Well, unfortunately, we realize that the struggle is very real when putting together our white desk setup in the studio. This might be obvious when we're thinking about painting a wall or buying flooring, but it also goes for cable products. A perfect example here is the Monoprice desk trays. These are more of a warm white or even cream color, but they're listed as white. Now I like these trays, but next to the white Alex Tech Snake or Tidy Helper Clips, they really don't look nice. This also goes for the Steelcase Gray Box and the Human Scale Neat Tech Tray. These are a very specific color gray, and they may not match perfectly with the other grays on your desk. It's true that in specific instances, shorter cables can help with your cable management, but typically shorter is not gonna be better. With some cables, you don't have the option on the length, like specific monitor or computer power cables, but when it comes to HDMI, USB, or other power cables, you will often have the option to buy the exact length you need. Your monitor will end up being one of the furthest things from your power or potentially computer. If you are planning on routing cables through a monitor arm, you will need even more length. Network cables are by nature longer and they're made to travel far, but don't underestimate how much length you will need to go through your desk and back up to your computer. It's better to side on being too long because then you can always bundle up the extra couple feet. It's great when desks or monitor arms come with built-in cable management but unfortunately, you're almost always going to need more. There are different ways that desks can include cable management, typically adding trays or channels that run down the desk frame or legs. Monitor arms usually have some way to route the cables through or alongside them. These solutions can help with a portion of the cables, but you will still need a place to store the majority of your power and data cables and potentially a power strip. Some more complete options may be able to handle all of these things, in which case you may only need to add small clips or cable holders to manage the cables inside the tray or organize them on top of your desk. There are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to using adhesive to attach products to your desk. Should you do it? Well, I hate to give this answer, but it depends. If you have an heirloom desk from your grandfather, I wouldn't drill holes into it. If you have a glass top desk, please don't. So your answer is to use adhesive. 
Reviews will really be your best friend here to see if the included adhesive with a product is any good. Many products that look exactly the same to each other will have different types of adhesive. Some use 3M, but it's not always easy to tell. Another option is to not use whatever comes with your products, but buy some 3M tape and cut it to the correct size. Avoid any products that send you a cheap roll of adhesive like this product from Anansi. You might be assuming that you can remove and reuse all your cable products. This will be true of some things, but others will be ruined. Anything with built-in adhesive will be ruined when you remove it from your desk. You may be able to add 3M adhesive afterwards, but no guarantees. Some products like thin metal trays can actually bend out of shape when you try to pull them off your desk. This won't make them unusable, but definitely not as good as new. There are also some items that you cut to size to use for specific purposes. Velcro sleeves or cable tubing, for example. Trying to reuse them later, you may find out that they are now too short. Finally, keep in mind that adhesive can make a big mess and potentially ruin your desk when you try to remove it. Some of you may believe cable management is a myth, period. That there's no need at all. Now I really value my time, and having good cable management on your desk is a guaranteed way to save time in the long run. Even spending $15 to $30 can get you a few products to keep your cables under control and save you from digging through a mess. In addition to saving you some time, a decluttered desk can help clear your mind. Everyone loves the look of a nice, minimal desk for a reason. Finally, that one time when a cable management product saves your device from getting yanked off your desk, it will make it worth it all.